Dennis, last Saturday night you were fuming. This Saturday night I think you're very happy after two home wins this week. Yeah, absolutely. You know, <coughs> I'm still a little bit disappointed because obviously I said to you that we wanted the nine points out of them three games and we've been through what I think the reasons were last week and I think it was fully justified today that um, if we'd have had that kind of energy and performance when we went away to lower stuff, we might have had a different outcome. Fell behind today to an early goal, but the response was good. You'd had two or three chances before the score, but the response was good. Um, and once you got yourselves level, you were really back into control of the game. Yeah, I think that was a big difference today. You know, last week I couldn't see a scoring, but going one nil down wasn't a big issue because it's so early in the game, and we'd already had we could have been tuning up in the first five minutes with Pidgey's header and Sands is one on one. So I knew there was goals there for us, and it was so early in the game, so it wasn't a case of um, panicking. Just um, keep plugging away, and I thought we'd done that all all day, and I think in the end, one out run out worthy winners. And John Sands off and running. It's uh, he's had two or three close calls, no more so than the save in the last minute at lower stuff, but great today to see him getting a couple of goals. Yeah, I think he's going to be a big hit with the fans. He is already because he's one of them old-fashioned centre-forwards that will run chase everything. Yes, he's got an eye for goal and finish chances, but he, you know, he's like an old-fashioned centre-forward and fans love people like that. So once he keeps getting games under his belt, he'll get better and better. But, you know, Lewis Iliard coming at the team has just showed unbelievable composure and quality, which has made a big difference to us as well. You know, he's got two goals now, I think, in three games. So, you know, Iliard's adding goals, you know, Sands now adding goals. Jonah coming off the bench and getting a fantastic goal. Great composure with a nutmeg and good finish. So, all round with Dow out, the strikers are, um, you know, on form and, and scoring goals. And like you say, you need these players to contribute when the player who's contributed so many of your goals over the last 18 months is sidelined. Yeah, of course, we need that to, to stay on this um, winning run and this charge for um, certainly a playoff and if not a, an automatic promotion. We need our strikers firing and with Dow out, we need the um, other guys to come through and Jonah's doing it, now Sands is doing it, Hilliard's now providing a, back, a backup as well. So, you know, we, we look like we're in fine felt. We've had to do the last three games about a left back as well. We've had to shuffle the pack around. So all in all, I suppose at the end of it, yes, you might get a little smile that we've got nine points over the four games at Christmas and we've won six of our last seven. So, you know, I can't really grumble at that. And obviously Henrik missed out today. Dylan still troubled by his injury. I'd either like to be back in contention next week. Henrik or Dylan? Either. So. Well, Dylan, I think, I'm not sure when his loan expires, it might even be today. I, I think he's to, got one more game to go. If he's got one more game to go, then he should, he should be fit for next week and we'll, we'll have to look at getting that extended till the end of the season. Henrik's is a different one, you know, he's going to sign for Derby, or he already has, that will be put in on January the 4th and then he's on a two and a half year contract at Derby. Yes, we've got an agreement with Derby that we can loan him straight back to Boston. But, you know, we can't really loan back a keeper that can't play 100%. So we're just going to have to look at that, see how long the injury is going to keep him out for and, and have a look at how we're going to go moving forward with the goalkeeper situation. And three points at Curzon Ashton next weekend would be great, considering you then have a two-week break and uh, the game start to thin out a little bit. Yeah, they're thinning out a bit like your air, Craig. The game's in January and February, but um, we've just got to take each game. You know, we're getting rest now because in January and February, I think we missed three Saturdays out of these seven or eight Saturdays there are, including today. So we've just got to take the game to game, try and win our Saturday match next week against Curzon, then rest up, prepare properly for the next game against Hendersford and look to win that at home. So we're in a good position, we can rest up, we can go week to week, um, we've just got to keep getting the three points and them games in hand will mean nothing. I mean, if you go back before Christmas, Tamworth were for a point behind us um, with three games in hand and now they're 11 points behind us with three games in hand, so they have to win all three and they're still behind us and they're in seventh. So we're pulling away, it looks like it's five from six unless somebody outside of the um, top seven can do something miraculous. So we're in a good position, we've just got to keep winning our football matches and see whether um, we end up with a playoff spot or whether we end up with the, um, the big bacon.